Hey guys, this is Mrs. Heaturks. Mr. Heaturks brought me these two eggs that one of the peahens laid that never hatched into a pea chick. So he asked me to blow them out so that you could see what the egg looked like. Now inside, I know that it could be that it pretty much looks like a yolk, like you would see at home, or that on the inside, we're gonna see the very beginning of a pea chick. So just like when we see our peacocks at school walk around, and so many of the eggs hatch into a real living pea chick, unfortunately for these two eggs, they never did. So we wanted to do a little bit of investigating to look inside of there. So with the one egg, it doesn't really matter that it has spots, but it helps us remember. I had to figure out, is there just the beginning of a pea chick where it's just the yolk? Or was this pea chick um, uh, developed a little bit more? So I started with something that's called candling. And this is where you can hold an egg up to a light and you can actually see inside and you can get an idea of how far along the pea chick is developing. But when I did this, we couldn't see a thing. We turned off the lights and there was no way to be able to see inside. So it was time for me to investigate. So I started with the egg with the spots. That was egg number one. And I used this tool to kind of poke through the shell where I don't have to crack it. I can just poke in there just a little bit so that just in case that there was just yolk in there, that I could blow the yolk out and Mr. Heaturx could have an empty egg to show you. So the first thing I did after I poked the holes was I started to put a paper clip in there. And when I put the paper clip in, right away I could feel that it was hitting something solid. And that is only as far as I could get in with the paper clip. So I left it there and I went to egg number two, the one that didn't have any spots. And I used my little tool and I poked inside of there. And then I started to get ready to get my paper clip to um, put it in there. And sure enough, look how far my paper clip went in there. It went in way further than the other one. And when I pulled it out, you probably little smarty pants can already see that there's a little bit of egg coming out of there. So for that one, I knew that most likely there wasn't any sign of a pea chick in there. So once I stirred it up a little bit and broke the yolk, I started to use this little tool that I love that when you put it on, it squeezes air into the egg and the hole in the bottom that I made a little bit bigger, it just pushes the eggs out. I could come to your house and I could do this to all the eggs in your refrigerator and you would end up with a whole bunch of real eggs that are empty inside and they're never gonna smell. And so sometimes it's fun to be able to decorate eggs like this. And so um, that's why I have this tool. I've used it so many times. But for today, we were trying to solve this mystery of what was inside these two eggs that never end up hatching for one of our sweet peahens that are at our school. So when I do this, I make sure that I keep rinsing it out and rinsing it out so that every little bit of egg comes out of there and is empty. Because if you don't, it will start to smell like a rotten egg. I wonder why. So for our egg with the sp no spots, that's the one that I was able to put the paper clip in so deep. And so as far as the mystery of what was happening there, I knew for a fact, without even being able to see inside, that this egg was one of them that had a yolk, the big yolk, and that there was very, very little development of a pea chick inside. Then I had to go back to the egg with spots. And I already knew that with this one, my paper clip only went in a little bit, which told me that most likely there was a baby pea chick inside of there. And that always kind of like makes you sad, but as scientists, it's always interesting to see what that really looks like. So I had to crack it open and I very carefully started to peel away the shell. And when I saw that baby, the pea chick in there, it almost felt like it was gonna just 
come out in real life and like start to walk around in my hand. It was very sad that that I could tell that that pea chick, for whatever reason, uh, never developed into a, a chick that could crack out of there. So here I am and I'm slowly kind of unfolding it because it was all in that egg, just like you were in your mother's womb and just like um, this chick, any one of the chicks that we see, there's it's what we call an egg tooth. That's the little bump on its um, beak that would have helped it getting out of the egg. You can see that his wings were all ready to go. And his feet, look, he even had those little claws on there. And um, yeah, those little talons. But then I noticed something that maybe was a clue. Do you see right down by his feet, there's like a band of flesh that's kind of wrapped around it? And Mr. Heatrix told me that that very end, that yellowish part, that's the tiny bit of the yolk that maybe um, that was at the point that the um, Peachick stopped to develop. Now in real life, if one of the Peachicks were to hatch, this is what it would look like. It would have grown probably a couple days longer than the one that we found that never hatched. And they would, the baby, the pea chick would use the little egg tooth on his nose to crack out of the egg. And it was interesting to me how similar this one looks to the one that we found in there. So in the end, we found out that the egg with spots had the little pea chick in there. And the egg that didn't have any spots just had a yolk in there. And so now Mr. Eatrix will tell you some more about that.